Hi guys, welcome to Forest Star Studio. Today I'm gonna talk about the Shadow Catcher. Okay, here we go. Let me roll a plan. Ten thousand by ten thousand. No segment teapot. Six hundred. Okay. And I'm gonna override a standard material to the whole scene. And by the way, the highlight compress should be 999. Contrast should be 4. And that's it. Let me create a Corona Sun and by the way a Corona Sky so now I'm gonna make this plan disappear but still keep the shadow of this teapot let me re-a a shadow catcher material and apply to this plan yep then I have to exclude this plan okay and hit A drag this Corona Sky out and link to this lot. You may cannot see it clear because too shy. So I may reduce this down to negative two. So I have it. This is Shadow Catcher. To understand clearer about this material, we jump to another example. Okay, I'm gonna import an external model. Mush file. What do we have here? A car, a plan, and a camera. So hit C and let me override and highlight compress should be 99, compress should be 4 or 5, and run a test. Hmm, black. Okay. Let me light it up by an HDRI. Map. Corona bit map. And locate the HDRI. It's quite heavy. Open. Okay. Yep. Link to color correct and link to this slot okay here we have a 
background of the HD right. So let me merge the HD right to this blend. I'm gonna create a shadow catcher and apply to this blend. Then link to the back blade. Yep. Need to be excluded. Okay. And inside this panel, we select Enviro projection. That's it. So, this is the way shadow catcher works. I'm gonna improve a bit. Look. First, let me <laughs> disable this and. I may use my favorite loot Palaroy Where is it? Palaroy, okay Beautiful And Bloom and Claire Yep Maybe this clear too much, so reduce it. Zero two is okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's it for today. I hope you find this video useful for your job. If you like, please hit the like button. Thank you very much. See you until the next time. Take care.